Hell, look at look at the shit that the RIAA has been pulling. The uh, really ignorant, arrogant assholes, aka the uh, Recording Industry Association of America. Okay, look at the shit they're pulling. They've pulled. They've sued like over seventeen thousand people so far for so-called copyright infringement, um, including like little twelve-year-old girls and disabled grandmothers and uh, you know college students and people that that they know do not have the finances or education, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to be able to retaliate against a multi-billion-dollar company. Um, as a matter of fact, their sales only started to massively decline once they started suing people. Um, back when Napster first kicked in and was, you know, letting people have music for free, um, CD scale sales skyrocketed. Um, they were 60% higher than, than normal, and this is according to the RAA's own records. So, well, of course, you know, why, why get all pissy if they had a 60% increase? Well, what the Internet has allowed is, you know... They've allowed people, just anyone, to put their music out there and, um, you know, you can get rich by giving away your music as long as you are good enough. So it's just like AM and FM radio, you know what I mean? You can listen to that for free. So the internet's just another mode of syndication. And there is no law against downloading anything with only one exception, that exception being child pornography. Otherwise, there is no laws on the books that says downloading this is copyright infringement and therefore illegal. So basically, um, the RAA is actually breaking its own fair use laws because syndication is fair use and the internet is a form of syndication. So they're actually breaking their own fair use laws. Now, it would have been one thing if they would have lobbied Congress to actually put into written law defining that downloading is a form of unauthorized syndication and therefore copyright infringement. But no, they didn't do that. They just started suing the shit out of people. Why? Because if anyone can go on the internet and make their fame and fortune based purely on talent, not needing any money whatsoever, but based purely on talent, the whole threat of, you'll never work in this town again, really doesn't hold much weight, does it? Because it's like, Psh, okay, the whole world is my town, and, um, you know, the internet's where I'm working here, so, pff, fuck you, who needs you? And the RAA know this, and they're scared as hell, and independent artists right now are becoming mainstream because of this. As a matter of fact, um, Nine Inch Nails, they were able to get get away from the RIAA, otherwise known as NIN. And, um, you know, they're doing great as an end result. You know, you got Trent Reznor up on stage at his concerts going, Yeah, steal, 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 and steal some more! Show them greedy fuckers! And it's just hilarious. And then Radiohead, uh, they went independent too, and they tested something which worked out really well. Um, they put an album up online, um, downloadable album, and it's pay what you want. That was the whole thing, you know, a little PayPal thing, whatever, pay what you want. And um, even though most people decided they were going to pay zero, which is fine, the people that did pay, they paid an average of three dollars per for the album. And Radiohead just banked millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. They banked way more than they could on a physical album sale. Why? Well, even though that the people who paid for it, it was the minority of people, you're looking at a minority of a planet, not just, you know, people who shop at Best Buy or, you know, these, these record stores or whatever. You're looking at, at the, a minority of a planet. Well, out of, like, almost 7 billion people these days, at least 3 billion of them are on the internet. So what's a small percentage of three billion? Millions and millions and millions and millions. So yeah, they banked like hardcore. Plus, you know, if your website gets enough views, you can make money via web advertising. I mean, it's just like, why do people buy television commercials? <laughs> you know, airtime. Because, well, they're gonna get seen. You know, you've got the visibility, you've got the views. So, shit. Um, that is like the main form Again, this is why corporations, government, all these people have brainwashed everybody and are so worried because ignorant people are easy to control. And if you can control people, you have power. 
because it, it's really it's it's not about money. Money is just one of the things that can give you power. If little rolls of, of fucking pink toilet paper could somehow give you power, then no one would care about money. They'd be caring about these you know little rolls of pink toilet paper, whatever. It's whatever gives these rich, greedy people power. These power mongers, whatever allows them to keep the world, you know, in their grasp. You know, this is all they care about. So, um, technology allowing the individual to be aware of themselves, of their surroundings, to be independent, to be self-thinking, um, to be intelligent, to be informed, um, to be able to get any information they want, you know, with a mouse click. This is a serious threat to governments, to corporations, and all kinds of people like this, because they are used to working with a system where they totally controlled the flow of information and people would automatically believe whatever they said because they said it and even though the majority of people are still trapped in this um, th this line of thinking to where oh the governments and corporations are right and they can't line whatever more and more people every day are starting to break away from that because they see that you know their their friend over here got screwed over or maybe they got screwed over personally or you know you're starting to see um basically customer satisfaction is starting to go way downhill and if it's one thing people do easily it's get pissed off and when they get pissed off they bitch and when it gets to a certain point they retaliate and they look for other ways of doing things well these other ways that they end up finding are things like you know um, the BBS scene, which has been around since uh, since before um, the uh, you know the internet as we know it, um, we have things like um, you know open source software and free software, um, you know where you can go and um, you know you can get a copy of uh, of GIMP or uh, Blender 3D or Open Office and a num any number of other you know softwares which work just as well if not better than their commercial counterparts and of course you know you don't have to pay for it and you've got you know big multi-billion dollar you know corporations going into this free and open source market you've got Sun Microsystems big huge multi-billion dollar corporation they make Sun Java which is like on damn near every computer and most web apps are dependent on it and on um, this big huge corporation they put out open office at openoffice.org so, I mean, you know, you've got free operating systems such as Linux, um, and you've got people supporting Linux like IBM, um, Sun Microsystems, even Dell. Dell supports Linux, which even though I really hate Dell, I still think it's cool that they support Linux. So, you know, go Dell, at least on that, on that notion. I would never buy one of their computers, but, you know, God bless them for supporting Linux. So, yeah, I mean, we really just have to get out of this whole gimme, gimme, gimme sort of, I want you to do everything for me attitude, because if you're dependent on someone else to do everything for you, that means by default, you have to trust them. You have to trust that what they're saying is true. So that makes you, you know, under the control of, you know, these governments, these corporations, these entities that want you under their control. You know, even organized religion. I mean, most of these uh, organized religious groups, um, I think, their god is green and has dead presidents on it. Um, <laughs> so, you know, again, it's just population control for money and power. It's not about God. And, you know, it's not about God. It's not about, you know, a war on an enemy. Let's see. We will get the evil doers. The war on terror. Ooh, great. Well, you know, George Bush is just so freaking genius because he's the first person in, like, all of history to wage war on a word. Yeah, we're not going to war with a country. We're not going to war with a terrorist faction. We're not even going to war with a person. We are waging war on a word in the English dictionary. Yeah! Okay, rant over. Till next time, bye-bye.